Hi, Sam here. Welcome to CivilCAD Consultant's tip on how you can use labels to speed the editing of your templates. This tip comes from one of our En-ROADS training classes. You can see that I'm already in the template editor. I'm in a template called 12 foot lane and it has two components. It has an asphalt component and a subgrade component. The two points I'm initially going to assign a label to are my two asphalt base points. This label will be used to control the depth of the asphalt. I'll edit the first point by double clicking. I'm in point properties now and I will go to the constraint for the vertical and type in a label name. The first time you use a label you can just type in the name and after that it will be available in the drop down anytime you need to use it in this template. If you're putting labels in to different templates and you want the same label be sure and use the exact same syntax so that the parametric constraints later on in Roadway Designer will be able to recognize them as one label. I'll edit the second asphalt base point and sure enough there's my label in the drop down so I'll go ahead and apply that. While I'm at it, I'll also add a label to the lane. This will be used to control the width of the lane. So I'll go to the horizontal constraint and again I will type in the name. Apply, close, and now I have the two components with the points labeled that I'm going to show you how you can edit. First, let's build a template. I'll right click, create a new template, and I'll just call this one example. I'll highlight the template I've been editing, and I'm just going to drag it in. While I'm dragging, I'm going to right click and mirror the template so it will do both sides at one time. When I fit, you'll notice I have a left lane and a right lane because my affixes are toggled on and have been set up in tools options. Let's go ahead and drag and drop a couple of more lanes and now I have a four lane template. If I find out later that I need to edit the depth of the pavement then I can go to active template. If I expand the parametric constraint options notice I have an AB depth if I highlight that, it will put a cyan box around each of the points that is controlled by that label. If I expand the label further, I'll get a list of each of those points. And if I want to change the depth, I simply right click and edit. Notice it's taking on the default of minus 0.5, which is what the depth was currently set. And I can put in the new depth. So for example, if I wanted to use inches, I could say minus 14 and a quote. When I tab, that converts it to feet. I OK it, and it changes the depth of the asphalt. If I want to switch it back, right click, edit, or switch it to something else, minus 11 inches. and that easily I can edit all of the vertical constraint uh, values for the points with the corresponding label. Makes it much easier for editing templates if you need to do a common edit to several different points. Now what about the label that I assigned to the lane? Well if you'll notice I have a lane width and I also have a minus lane width. When you're dealing with horizontal constraints if you're going from the center line to the left, the value needs to be negative. If you're going from the center line to the right, the value needs to be positive. Well, rather than having to establish two different labels, it's smart enough to, when I mirror, automatically add a negative prefix to the second label. So if I right click and edit the first label, I've got a positive 12. If I change it to 13, watch how the lanes on both sides will be edited. I OK it and both lanes shift out. If I highlight the lane width with the negative in front of it, you'll notice the two lane points on the left have the cyan box around it. 
As you can see, adding labels to your template can make editing the templates much easier in the long run. And of course, these labels can also be used in parametric constraints when you take the template into Roadway Designer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to sign up to receive our emails so you'll be notified as we add more tips to our Civil CAD Consultant website. You can also follow us on Twitter at CAD Productivity and be sure to like our CAD Productivity page on Facebook.